Hello everyone, today we're going to look at how to empty or flush the hot water tank in your home. In my case here, we actually have two water tanks that we're going to be looking at and we're going to be separating them because right now they're um, piped in series. So let's take a closer look at the water tanks we're going to be working on today. So these two are equal. They're both 50 gallon each gas powered uh, hot water tanks. Um, in your case, you might have one gas powered hot tank, you might have a one electrical, you might have two electricals. It doesn't really matter, the process is pretty much the same. The first thing you need to do is locate where to turn off the water, the cold water going into the tank. And then you need to locate also the how to turn off the power from, from the tanks. And if you're dealing with a gas uh, unit like I have here, you also need to connect to find where the gas line is and basically how to, how to disconnect it right here with the valve uh, how to turn off the gas now the to get started uh, just kind of orienting ourselves a bit more with all these pipes uh, we need to find out which of these is uh, the cold water supply and which one is the hot water uh, to locate the cold water there's really uh, kind of three ways of looking at it you can either um, look directly on the hot water tank and one of the one of this these are going to be labeled cold the other one is automatically going to be hot the other way to locate is just to basically put your hand on the on the the pipes to feel right away which one is the cold one i know this one is, is cold and this one would be the hot one and then uh would be the probably the third one would just be to find the uh, the valve to close the water supply and the valve is um, often and most likely located directly on the uh, cold water supply. In my case, I have a, line, a separate line going into the humidifier. You might not have this. This is uh, a bit irrelevant for us because it's going to stay here once we're, once we're done. Um, and then for the electrical, uh, if it is, if you have an ele electric water tank, you just need to locate on your uh, breaker panel which breaker is the one that turns off and on your hot water tank. Uh, since these are both gas and I have the uh, fan here that's basically um, getting all the gas fumes outside of the house, uh, on the fan itself I have an on off switch and then also I have a, a electrical wire that goes into the plug itself. And so for me to disconnect it, I would just need to turn it off at the turn off the fan and by precaution, just unplug the electrical from the wall. Once we are going to um, disconnect the water, disconnect the power and disconnect the gas, the next thing we're going to do is simply connect um, uh, a hose uh, here. And then in my case, I do have a drain right next to them. So I'll be able to simply put the other end of the hose inside the drain and uh, empty the tanks this way. Uh, once the water starts flowing and it starts decreasing a bit, we could also open the pressure valve just to help with the overall air circulation and that will help uh, push the water faster from these units as well. I think we talked enough. <laughs> we Let's uh, chat less and let's uh, get to work. So first things first, as we mentioned, we are going to turn off the cold water supply to the tanks. So the cold water is turned off. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the uh, fans for the gas on this one and we're going to do something similar on the other one. By precautions I'm just going to go and disconnect the electrical outlets. And finally what we need to do here the last piece would be to close the gas valves. Gas valve is closed. And here as well, gas valve is closed. Beautiful. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to connect. So I have a hose here that is ready. I'm going to connect. I'm going to start with uh, this one here, the one on the left. And the other end of the hose, I'm going to connect it right here. I'm just going to basically leave it 
leave it here into the drain. Uh, it just requires a flat screwdriver. Then you slowly open it. So we'll just see what, what we have on this side. Make sure the other end is in the drain. And then slowly, let's start opening this up. So we open this line as well. The water, let's see. The water is draining. So the water currently is draining from one and from the other. So both are working perfect. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. The water continues to uh, get out of the both tanks. Um, here I noticed that if I, I put a, a bucket right underneath the, this pipe and if I open the pressure release valve, there's basically almost nothing that's coming out and so it indicates to me that the water level is definitely uh, at least lower than here so it, what i'm going to do is just to kind of save a bit on time and start working on uh, repiping uh, some of these uh, pipes here Alright, so I went ahead and uh, prepared the, the pieces that I need for the next step. I cut a, a small, short blue text line uh, that I'm going to connect here. Then I'm going to have a blue uh, valve, ball valve, and then connect it to the main water supply. So to attach the packs, it's pretty simple. You take the, uh, the pinch clamp, in my case, this model here, the pinch clamp. You first, you want to slide it onto the packs itself. Then you want to slide the pegs with the clamp onto the fitting. Okay, then slide the clamp just short, just so a bit. You can see it from far. About this distance from the end of the tax pipe. And then I'm gonna take my tool and basically Pinch and squeeze the and yeah. it kind of unlocks as goes and then as soon as it reaches the end it unlocks and then you can move the handles. So I'll do the same thing with the, um, the valve. So if the valve is like this, open, cool, uh, in that case you would be, or put it like that. Then close, it could be on the side, out of the way. That's what I'm going to do. This, clamp ring. Slide the cramp ring first. Slide the valve. X is a bit stiff for now. And then put the clamp very close to the edge. Put it in the tool and then clamp. Then perfect. I 
like here. The good thing with these is that you can actually turn your fittings even after you're done connecting them. Now the only missing piece is really just to put the, the PEX pipe between these two fittings and also add a, a T fitting, T reducing fitting, fitting for the humidifier. So the T reducing fitting is something like this. In my case it is a three quarters and three quarters here and this is a half, half an inch. So this would fit into this pipe and then we just would need two small pipes in between and we are done with the cold water at least. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have the, the, the blue line is the cold water coming in. It here is a, a reducing T, so we have three quarter inch, three quarter inch, and then this is a half an inch. And then this line goes into the humidifier, which we, uh, this one has its own separate valve. Then going down here, we have the valve for the water line the cold water line going into the tank and then out of here we have the red one going out with the hot water its own valve and then this is basically connected to where the previous tank hot water line this one here was connected and so the second hot water tank is basically completely disconnected and for now i'll leave it disconnected I'll start. I'll use it once I'm ready with the radiant heat, and the other one is good to go. And by the way, the water is still uh, emptying a bit, it's still leaking out there. So what I'm gonna do is that since I'm keeping the, this tank, I don't need to empty it completely. Uh, I'm just going to close the process and uh, 
turn off the valve there and disconnect everything and just keep whatever the water is there I'll keep it and I'll start f filling it up with new water fresh water and then uh, once it's full then I'll turn it back on whenever you're opening water especially after all the pipes have been emptied you want to go slowly and just to avoid having too much pressure at the same time and too much air going in the water is filling into the tank what we can do is simply open the hot water valve as well I turn on the hot water faucet and I notice that the water was running smoothly so that basically tells me that the water is able to go into the tank through here and then is uh, high enough in order to be able to go out all right so it is it is plugged in but it's still turned off I haven't turned this switch on yet now what I'm gonna do is basically go here and turn on the gas line the gas flow we have the gas I'm gonna turn back this on and the, the fan is working and I did hear a little click here for the gas this is working no water anywhere I double checked no leaks anywhere so this was a good job obviously this took a lot longer than if you just needed to empty or flush a tank because what we had is that initially these two tanks were together we disconnected them we redid all the piping and now we only have one 50 gallon tank of hot water for the entire house and then this guy is going to be used to heat the radiant floor well that pretty much wraps up the video for today i really hope that you found this uh, helpful for your own uh, project at home uh, i know obviously it was a longer video than just uh, flushing and emptying the tank but we had a lot of really interesting things that we were able to cover and i'll see you next time take care